Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shanky Muffin. For all you don't know, and today we'll be tackling another experimental video just to see how much potential money we can make through crafting double cosmic runes. All right, guys. So for our gear, we'll be using full graceful with a black pickaxe because this has no weight, I believe, as well as an emulet of glory so I can teleport to Edgeville for quick bank access as well as we'll be using the max cape because it will function as a graceful cape as well as it will function as a rune crafting cape which makes that these rune pouches will not degrade so speaking of rune pouches our inventory setup as you look here are the four types of rune pouches and of course rune essence for those that are unaware in order to craft double cosmic runes you will need 59 rune crafting as well as we'll be using the Abyss for this three hour experiment. So yes, we'll be doing this for three hours. That way we can get a solid foundation as to what to expect. So with that guys, we'll be using the Abyss, which means that we just teleport to the Mage of Zemrak in order to do that. And we'll just be on our way and we'll be training runecrafting, which people just don't do as you already know. <laughs> of course, we're gonna pretend as if this is our first and official trip for something like this. So basically, what you'll be doing is you teleport to Edgeville after you have crafted your runes. You just keep going north to the wilderness ditch. I'm sure everyone knows how to do the abyss, but this is the method that I'll be using and as well as pretty much everyone else. And then you'll eventually come across the Mage of Zamrock, so you'll teleport to the Mage. You'll become officially skulled and your prayer will be drained. I usually try to go through the gaps, and if not, I try to use the eyes. And worst case scenario, then I have to mine some rocks. And so once you're through, you will be able to see in the very center point of the abyss of how there's all these different uh, teleport locations for all the different runes and everything like that that you can go. So this will be the Cosmic Rift. It will be on the western side of the abyss. You just walk through. You click on craft rune on the, on the altar. And you just shift click on the rune pouches. And you just do that. That's it. And teleport to Edgeville. And if we look at our first inventory, it is a price check of 13,000 GP for 108 Cosmic Runes. So let's go into it and I'll be back for every hour for an update. The first hour is coming to a close, which means we need to update on what we have as well as the XP that we've earned so far. 5,290 Cosmic Runes with an XP amount of 21,600. Hour 2 is completed guys at 5,300 Cosmic Runes and 21,200 XP in Rune Crafting. 3 hours is completed guys. We come out to 5,196 Cosmics for this hour as well as the XP that we earned from this hour is 20,800. So, let's go into the total amount of money that we've made from the 3 hour experiment. So at the time of this recording of August 11th, 2020, we acquired 15,786 Cosmic Runes, which, which comes out to, let's round it up, to 2.1 million GP. Now this is the assumption that you have a max cape as well as all the pouches, but you'll be earning about 700,000 GP per hour, as well as, if you'd like to do this at a lower level, you probably earn probably around 500 to 600,000 is my guess. From this guys, this is not including the cost of any of the amulet glories used or anything like that as well as stamina pots. This is just the amount of money that we made. But from this, for a pretty, I'd say decent rune crafting level, this could be a decent money maker for those looking to get some GP while progressing their rune crafting. So from this guys, I would recommend this for those that just want to do an hour rune crafting a day, slowly work towards a bond or, as well as get some rune crafting XP. Other than that guys, my name is Shanka Muffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.